What up, folk? It's the uh, Thursday before the President's Day weekend. I get President's Day off. I also took tomorrow off out of my own pocket because I got time like that. If you ever watched that uh, other one where I did my hair shave and I talked about lazy bitches at work, they can all fucking work tomorrow. I don't have to. I got time off. But tonight, the agenda is or the uh, outcome I'm hoping for is some good wings because I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. You've, you've all had, well you've all had or you've all heard of just traditional straightforward lemon pepper wings. I guess I get in there closer. Lemon pepper wings. These are good. Well, I was at my little food Walmart. Hold on, let me get a beer. I was at my food Walmart, not the big Walmart, at the food Walmart down the street from my house. In the spice section, you've got the, uh, the spice packets of like uh, pre-made taco, pre-made chili, pre-made beef stew and au jus and everything under the sun, brown gravy, white gravy, whatever the hell you want that you don't want to fucking mix up yourself. They got that. And then in the middle section, in the same spice aisle, you got the raw spices, like the little bottles, of, little bottles of onion powder and cumin and uh, ground mustard, shit like that. You got that one there. And then just immediately to the right of that, as you're looking at it, I saw this for the first time. This super fucking duper Holt Green Lime Pepper. I've never heard of Lime Pepper. But also with that was uh, Jalapeno Salt. Never heard of that either. I got them both. Haven't really, I haven't tasted them yet. I know what fucking lemon pepper tastes like. But I thought tonight I would make lemon and lime pepper wings. Because if you're from the Seven, if you're a 70s kid, came from the 80s. Seven Up was lemon lime soda, and uh, no caffeine. Never had it. Never will. Ah 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 ah. This fucking big booming black dude. I'm not a big booming black or white dude, but this guy had a booming voice. Never had it. Never will. Ah ah ah. I'm wondering if this shit will taste like Seven Up wings, basically, because even at my old ass age, I still like to experiment and discover new shit number three or four don't have no idea but also as these cook it's going to take a while because it has like 10 minutes for it to come to pressure and then 20 minutes for it, about a half an hour i got some shit over here uh old school shit like a show and tell for the young folk who have no idea what this shit is, and for the folks my age or in the vicinity who may have seen this shit and forgot about it. But for now, let's get the wings going. And I'm going to make lemon, lemon lime wings. Got the ninja here. Plug it in. Flip this fucker up. Over here, I just washed the, uh, I'll show you, the, I'll show you the entire process. This is a start to finish. Now I just washed it, so I'm gonna dry it off. This bowl goes inside of here. There's a button in the bottom. If this bowl's not in there, it won't work. There's a pressure button. That bowl has to sit on there. So it knows there's, it's ready to go. Here's the uh, Air Crisp basket. Again, I just washed these like a second ago, so they haven't had time to completely dry. That, you need, you need the fucking stand for it. Which is right here. And this is also kind of a, uh, ninja tutorial or possibly if you see him you doing this and see how easy it is to make fucking wings go out and get one ninja's not paying me shit 
don't give a fuck. I'm just showing you that I enjoy this this machine right here. Got a little bit of paper towel there. Let's get that out. Wouldn't be the first time I ate paper or the last, but if I can choose not to, I'll choose not to. That just snaps down right in there. Now you got this whole nice little unit here that goes inside of here. Trash can over there, like always. Now I've made these many, 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 many times. Well, not this variety of wing, but I make wings more times than I. I should have a fucking wing stop logo out in front of my house, and I should be a fucking franchise. I should be getting paid for this. But the boys love them, and I love my boys. Therefore, and hence, I love making them. But I don't love making them, but I make them for the boys because they're my sons. I may be a shitty person. I may be an asshole to many of you. But in the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm a goddamn great dad. And I guess that's also a father. Father and dad are different things. But fathers are the ones who spurt, spurt, and then fuck off or stay around. But dads are the ones who invest the time and make sure everything goes right. And it doesn't always, but we're there when it doesn't, and we're there when it does. Half cup water. Well, hold on. It comes to pressure faster if you use hot water. So let the water heat up. Again, it's winter, so the water takes a little bit longer to come to heat because I got an old house. I got old plumbing. It takes a second. There we go. to be an exact half cup but in the vicinity of a half cup not a full cup that goes in there and that's clean it's just water so that goes in here to dry back out and go back into rotation now I got three wings from this bag here that uh, didn't get put in with the rest of the last batch the boys usually like five or six wings a piece. This is a this is three wings somehow combined all together. They're, they froze together. I'm gonna grab two more wings out of a different bag. I'm going with the five banger, hoping they're good because I don't want to fucking waste. Four wings and a fucking bite. So that's two, and there's five. Five wings. I'm not super fucking hungry right now, but I could, I, I, you know, I could eat. I'm peckish, and by the time this shit's done, I'll be hungry. Nice seal. Get rid of this empty one. The trash can's a little further away tonight because I didn't uh, get everything set up correctly the way I like to. But, ah, uh, fuck it, it's my kitchen. You're here. We're here. I just picked my ass. I pulled the drawers out of my ass. I didn't put my hand in my ass. They're still clean. All right, so this. It's a pressure cooker air fryer. Ninja Foodie pressure cooker air fryer. Here's the lid for the pressure cooker. You want to make sure your bent's off so the pressure builds. This goes right on top here. That click means you're on. Plugged in. Hit the on. And it says right here, pressure. High. You want to go high. The default is high. Now, the book over here says... Five minutes, I always go six, just to make completely sure there's no 
extra red in the chicken. Start. And then it's going to, uh, you can't see it, but there's a, it just does like the old school fucking computer circle, circle, circle until the time comes up for the actual pressure. There's a little button there. The button pops up. That means it's pressurized. It's pressurized for six minutes. Now, until then, I'm going to get the plate ready for the pre-fry. And then I'm going to show you some shit over here. Just some uh, show and tell. Old shit that your younger viewers might not know. One's my age or just below might recall and remember. But just a reason to drink beer, shoot the shit with you, make some wings, try a new flavor. Hey, man, it's fucking, uh, it's Thursday for real, but it's my Friday. I got tomorrow off. I'm going to show you what I do here. Those aren't dry. I just washed them. Clean plate. Now, I did this in a previous video. I take a clean plate. I grab enough aluminum to cover said plate. Wrap it around the plate. Because it calls for these to be uh, towel dried when they get done pressure cooking. And I don't want to wash this plate again. So what I, as I said before, what I waste in aluminum foil and paper towels, I break even not running the water to wash it on the plate. To that I take, these are about six inch squares, so uh, I take about four. I take, well, I do not about four. I take four. Four. Pow. I was supposed to be a clean pal, but it fucked up. That there. So when this shit pressure cooks, I pour them in there. I tamp them off with another set of towels on top. And that's where the uh, oil spray comes in. And then we'll douse them in uh, lemon pepper and lime pepper and see what lemon lime wings taste like. I have them, I, I'm sure they're on the internet, YouTube or whatever. I've never tried it. I've never heard of it. I thought, hey, maybe this is something fucking new that people might enjoy. And I'll run this shit through and we'll discover together. And again, I've not even finger tested this shit. To see if it's good or not. We're just going to go in blind. And if it sucks. It sucks. And if it's good. It's good. I've not fucking led you people astray. Butt cheek. Upper thigh butt cheek. It's the same in every video. I'm not fondling my fucking rosebud. And bringing up the soil from the earth. and <laughs> No. It's the top of my fucking thigh, the very bottom of the beginning of if I had ass. It's the top of my thigh and the bottom of the part where an ass cheek would be if I had an ass, which I don't. You've seen the video. If, well, if you watch the videos of me walking back and forth in my boxers, you know I have absolutely zero ass fat. It's just a crack that goes in the legs. It <laughs> stops at the back. Crack legs. No ass whatsoever. Oh, starting to make that angry hiss. All right. Well, that does that. Like I said, show and tell night. Because that's going to take about 10 minutes probably. And then uh, 20 minutes. It's going to be about 30, 40, 30, 40, 50 minutes for the video. But... In the uh, build-up, I thought I would share some old school shit that you may remember, may not remember, may never heard of. Because some of you weren't even born when this shit came out. I'll go with the first thing here. It's a book. And if you don't know what a book is, you're an asshole. It was a uh, papyrus or paper. 
and then they bound it page after page, front and back. Yeah, I'm being a condescending asshole. But before the advent of the fucking internet, where you could find anything and everything you want at the fucking click of a button, you had to do research to find shit you wanted to do. Go to the library, or if you wanted to actually buy shit and have it at the house, so you didn't have to be bothered by getting up and leaving the house. This book here is called The Bare Facts. This book was a fucking Bible to a young, single man at the time it came out. Because this book here called The Bare Facts, well, let's get in here low on the description, if, if you can see it. Where to find your favorite actors and actresses nude on videotape way before the internet this book was a bible for if you wanted to pleasure yourself to the image of an actor or an actress that you found attractive and if you were getting, getting ready to head to the uh, video store the blockbuster or the family video or the there's another one i can't recall but your local video store and you want to say, hey, I want to see this actor or actress naked. What video should I look for? Well, let's just pull one up here. Well, well just right at the back here. Cindy Crawford. It doesn't show her naked in any movies, but it has her naked in the Playboy July 1988 issue. Which is true, I've seen it. And that, there you go. It just tells you exactly. There's Cindy Crawford. You can go find her in Playboy 1988. Fucking. Or Courtney Cox over here. Which you should know from Friends. I haven't looked at this, I haven't looked at this, looked at this in a while. But Courtney Cox was in a uh, movie called De or Blue Desert from 1990. And it says that you can see... Uh, Part, part of her breast, and also says possible body double. See that? You go over here, I'm, I'm just going to give a quick, that Jane Curtin's in here. I didn't know Jane, Jane Curtin of SNL fame from way back in the fucking day. She was in a uh, pink bra, distracting everybody at, in the mall. So our friends can steal money in How to Beat the High Cost of Living in 1980. And a possible body double. See, they even say possible body double. They don't say everything is fucking gospel truth. But anyway, you go through halfway here. It's all ladies. Ladies are first. And at the back, you got... At the back, you got uh, men. If you're uh, like Robert Downey Jr., has his buns out in Rented Lips 1988. So if you want to see Iron Man's buns, it's a movie called Rented Lips 1988. And then after the the female, then the male, then it just goes to straight up movie titles. You just look up the movie you want to see. You know, I'm going to go rent this tonight. Is anybody naked in it? And then right there, it gives you everybody naked in that movie up to that date. What day? When did this come out? This edition. Nineteen ninety-two. This came out nineteen ninety-two. So up to nineteen ninety-two, if you wanted to know naked motherfuckers, let's just start the pressure cook. It's got five minutes. You wanted to know naked motherfuckers and where to find them, male female, or just look up the movie title itself, pre-internet, this was a great guide. If you're a dirty pervert like me, and I know I'm not the only one that bought the motherfucker, they wouldn't have made, they wouldn't have made more than one fucking copy. That, up to 1992, I'm going to the video store tonight, uh, feeling a little bit handsy if you will. I'd like to see 
we'll say Beverly D'Angelo. What has she been in besides uh, National Lampoon Family Vacation, where she does that like two second titty scene of, well, she's taking a shower and then Clark comes, ah, 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 and she's standing on her titty shaking. She's in other shit. And go find this. And then back in the day, if you had two VCRs and the, the uh, correct cables, you could go rent these videos and some of them were like dollar a piece because they were old. New releases were a certain like five or six bucks and old releases were like 99 cents. Go get these videotapes, got your two VCRs, you're playing your record, get to these naked scenes and you can just make yourself a whole naked compilation of all the back actresses or actors if you want to see the male form. I did not. But actresses, just pause, start, record, stop. You can have a whole fucking greatest hits of titty scenes you wanted. And I had a couple, two or three. Of course, by now those videos have long since disappeared or been recorded over or disintegrated. I don't have them. I don't have any VHS anymore. About three minutes. Just uh, remembering good old naked scenes from movies and such. Oh! I got two minutes. I got two more things. I don't want to fucking rush them. But this being the last season of Cobra Kai... And I just saw somebody, uh, a thumbnail of somebody on YouTube doing a reaction to The Karate Kid. Uh, there's a great movie, uh, one of the old ones that I didn't cover that you may never have heard of. Uh, it's got Johnny Lawrence. I thought his name was, I kept thinking his name was Joey Lawrence. That's the fucking asshole from Blossom, the whoa guy. And I was like, no, it's not Joey Lawrence. And I was like, it's not Martin Lawrence. He's a different black guy from Blossom who used to go, yo. You know, I'm fucking with you. But I was like, finally, it came to me. Johnny. Johnny Lawrence. The guy who plays Johnny Lawrence, I don't know his real name. I know his last name is like Zabka. From the real Karate Kid and the fucking Cobra Kai series. He's in a movie where he plays exactly the same motherfucker from the Karate Kid called Just One of the Guys. And the lead lady in that, just scratching my leg, her name is Joyce Heiser, H-Y-S-E-R. She is, I don't know, she's she's one of my, she's one of my top tiers. The only movie I know she did any nudity in, it's called Just One of the Guys, where she goes to a high school, she submits a paper for her writing class, and it gets shot down, and she thinks it's because she's a girl, so she goes to a different school, to try to pretend to be a, a guy, just one of the guys, where she's kind of, they, they think of her like a Ralph Macchio kind of thing. And again, you got Johnny Lawrence as the bad guy again. This And she's described as a Ralph Macchio type. So a little in-joke there. But toward the he's an asshole the entire movie. Same as fucking Karate Kid. He plays an outstanding asshole, which... To me says in real life he's just the sweetest guy in the world but at the end Joyce Heiser to prove she's a girl to the guy she's trying to woo because at the end she's trying to woo spoilers to a movie that's in the fucking 80s and she's trying to woo this guy well she falls in love with this nerd that she's trying to make cool and in the end to prove she's a woman to this nerd she Rips her top open. Just, just beautiful, natural titties. If you want to see Johnny Lawrence be Johnny Lawrence in a different franchise, and you like beautiful titties, and you like uh, 80s, my legs itch. You like 80s fucking uh, mildly offensive comedy. There's some shit in there that yeah, mild, mildly offensive to today's 
pussy fucking crap. I gotta uh, vent these. That beep bitty means I can do a either a slow fucking release or a quick release. We're doing quick release. Which means I turned it this way because I don't want to fucking steam my cabinets. <laughs> But yeah, beautiful natural titties, mildly offensive content. I enjoy it. I'm trying to think of anything else I can add to it. Uh, I think there's like two fucking Star Trek nerds who have to had their own fucking uh, secret language and they can't be taken apart or they fucking shut down. It's a good movie. It's an 80 comedy, 80s comedy that uh, a lot of folks don't know about. Just one of the guys, Joyce Heiser, and if you want to look her up just on fucking uh, Google or whatever, J-O-Y-C-E-H-Y-S-E-R, uh, just one of the guys. And it'll just show that, pow. That's a whole movie building up to that. She's fucking gorgeous in my eyes. I haven't seen her in the day. She was her and Phoebe Cates from fucking Fast Hunger Ridgemont High. And there was a girl called Jennifer Runyon who was in a movie called Up the Creek. She didn't show anything, but she was Jennifer Runyon, Joyce Heiser, Phoebe Cates in the 80s for me. Oh, and Heather Thomas from The Fall Guy. Just fucking wow. And I looked in the book here and on the internet. I didn't see any Jennifer Runyon or Heather Thomas titties anywhere. Of course, you know Phoebe Cates from the infamous Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Boo! Another great movie. Several great women to go look up. Some good, some great fucking 80s movies. I gotta fucking do these wings real quick. We'll get back to part two and three of the show and tell. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. The Cars. Life in Stereo. I think it's Life in Stereo is a song when Phoebe Cates <laughs> opens that top and lets those lovely titties out. I don't know if you caught on to the theme, but I enjoy uh, the female form. Not so much the southern border. Those kind of sometimes look like a, uh, a fucking murder scene, but the upper deck. Those are always appreciated, be they mosquito bites or be they fucking jaws of life. Get them off me. All right, five wings. The three separated. Yeah, you probably oh, fuck. The three separated. There was a three banger that was fucking frozen together. To this, you got to. That's not Lenny Kravitz. You don't have to let love rule, but you've got to let love rule. Now you gotta... See? My mind works. It doesn't fucking... I'm on titties and shit, and all of a sudden, a Lenny Kravitz fucking lyric comes out of nowhere. This is what I deal with all day. It's... Chaos. Like fucking butters. I say a word, and then, oh, it's fucking chaos, butters, South Park. Anyway, now we're getting into experimental territory. Now we're getting the spray up. Now we're going to give a lemon pepper hit, splash, a thorough coat of lemon pepper. Oh my. 
if you don't have lemon pepper at home, you should get some. You just open it up and instantly that lemon, if you like lemon, some folks don't like lemon and some folks are fucking up. Uh, what's the fucking word I'm looking for here? Not mentally challenged, but uh, taste. Uh, whatever the fuck taste challenged is. It's not audibly challenged, that's your fucking ears. Uh, orally challenged? No, that's because your mouth sucks. Well, is it that? Orally challenged. I'm not talking they can't take a huge giant penis in their mouth or enjoy a very sloppy vagina. And they, their, their taste buds can't handle deliciousness. Now, that smells good. I've not tasted it by itself. It smells like straight up fucking lime. That's lemon. Oh, come on. I give it a nice thorough. So you got a green and yellow fucking wing. Let me pull one up here for you to see. This side, you got green and yellow. We're gonna put these in here. Uh, spice side down so we can spice the top. It doesn't smell like 7-Up, but it doesn't smell bad. Now, if these work and they're good, there's no heat involved, but if these, these work and they're okay, I might throw in some jalapeno salt next time just to, I don't even know if this shit's hot. I haven't tasted it yet either. This time on the back side, we're gonna put lime first and lemon on top of lime. Oh yeah, oh, they're motherfuckers. I got them Shrek bitches. Once the damn plug broke, and some lemon pepper. That does smell fucking fantastic. All right, this point, we got that over there. The pressure cooker's off. I, put, I got a lot of towels so the, the steam and shit can dry out. And I take the uh, ceiling ring out and I wash that off and uh, all that. If you know pressure cookers or you don't. Bar. Well, excuse me. This one, Air Crisp, 390, time 20 minutes. Default. It's a default wing set. And you hit start. And I go over here to the clock on the stove. And it tells me to fuck, no, not the clock, but the timer. And I put in 10 minutes because they recommend that 10 minutes, you uh, give them a quick flip, stir, or whatever the fuck you want to go. And now here, you see all this dirtiness, lemon pepper and lime pepper. I don't gotta wash this plate. And this shit can go right into the the bin, as the fucking Brits call it. And now I'll move on to exhibits number two and three. I can either go to music or I can go video game. I'll go music. Now, before all your Spotify's and your uh, Amazon Music's and whatever the fuck, uh, YouTube, all that shit, when you had to buy physical media, this was this is a box set I found online. I didn't had I had no fucking clue it even existed. To tell you the truth, but toward the end of his career, Johnny Cash 
a great American fucking treasure in rock and roll, I'd say rock and roll fucking country. Toward his waning years, heading to the grave, hooked up with Rick Rubin, one of the greatest producers ever from rock, rap, <coughs> rock, hip-hop, rap. Just, you put Rick Rubin on the fucking one of your tracks, your track's fucking golden. He got Chili Peppers, he got Slayer, he got fucking Beastie Boys, LL, all the old school... A lot of the, well, not all, a lot of the old school shit that is fucking relevant and hits Rick Rubin. Well, it, toward the end of Johnny Cash's life, Rick Rubin hooked up with Johnny Cash. And he made a whole bunch of CDs that were, are fucking, I hate to say bangers, but they're great. They're great throughout. Well, this is kind of a uh, B-Sides compilation box set. Back when they have box sets and you had physical fucking uh, media. This thing right here, it came with, it, it's, it came, well, it, you can probably find it still. I don't know, fucking, it might cost you an arm or a leg or nothing at all because no one wants physical media. But it came with five, five CDs in this nice book binded fucking beautiful set and it came with an actual book of conversations with Rick Rubin and Johnny Cash and the and the, the uh, fucking uh, artists who came in and sat and fucking played with them like there, there's a I think that's Tom Waits right there but back when they knew how to market shit Back when physical media was fucking on top. And I'd never heard of this. I had started buying all of Rick Rubin's, or Rick Rubin, Johnny Cash's. I think it was called Deaf American. The uh, the label that Rick Rubin, once he left Deaf Jam, it's the American flag upside down. <coughs> Pretty sure he called it Deaf American. I'm going to tell you the truth here. That's a different smell than lemon pepper. It's not a bad smell. It's a different smell. Anyway, nonetheless, if you liked the late period Johnny Cash, Rick Rubin produced albums, this is like B-sides and outtakes and rarities. It's called... Uh, Cash on Earth, the box set. I'm sure I, without a fucking shadow of a doubt, you can find everything on this box set on YouTube or anywhere across the uh, internet. Which is sad because the Johnny Cash estate and Rick Rubin aren't getting paid for that shit. Or maybe they are. I don't know royalties. But Johnny Cash. Just a great all-around fucking entertainer. That give me a second. I'm trying to fucking pinpoint notes. Definite citrus. Definite lemon. Not quite getting the line. But it does smell like a fruit bowl. Not getting any chicken vibe at all. But usually you don't get that till the very end of the fucking, the flip and all that shit. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell familiar. It smells interesting, like I want to give it a shot. Alright, well while that's going, four more minutes on this side before I flip it over and we see if it even looks like chicken anymore. Which it will. It's experimentation night. I'm not going to be right with you 
all the time I'm going to be looking over here and checking on shit. Not that I don't love y'all. Not that I don't respect the fact you're here giving me your time. The fact that I don't know what the fuck this is going to be when it comes out. If you've seen the movie Better Off Dead, another great movie, a John Cusack movie. It's got uh, Booger from Revenge of the Nerds, uh, Curtis Armstrong. It's called Better Off Dead. His mom, I may have said this before, I don't watch my old shit, but his mom fucking uh, cooks shit in the kitchen that sometimes moves, sometimes is alive. I think I might have covered this before. I don't go back and watch the old shit. Once I've done, I'm done. Or I watch it the next day because, again, I'm not going to remember what the fuck I spouted in here. Better off dead. And my friend just sent me a fucking uh, text, which I'll read after this. I think he might have got a job. Yay, go team. I got another friend who's... Uh, in Vietnam right now marrying a girl he hopes to bring over here in the uh, immediate or intermediate future I don't know how that shit works I've tried to say don't fucking get married don't sign any contracts don't be a fucking idiot but in one and out the other no one listens to me when I say don't 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 fucking get married, just live in sin. Nope. I want to give half my shit away. Here you go. I want to fuck... Oh! Let's have babies so I can definitely have a fucking 18 year goddamn commitment that I can't get out of. Well, no. I've known deadbeat dads who just avoided paying it and somehow... $50,000 in debt and they're still walking the streets freely. Hey. But I try to do that shit more, well, aside from the fact I love my sons and I want them to have a good life. But if I didn't love my sons and I didn't love fucking the fact that they love me and I said, fuck it, the first missed payment, I'd be under the goddamn jail. Neither here nor there. One minute till I flip these around. And I'll show you the last thing over here. I'm not, I'm not trying to get all bullshit and pissy and trying to keep it light. I like to keep it light. And in 51 seconds, I'll flip them around. I'll keep it light. I'll show you this last thing. It's an old school video game one. I showed you a book. I showed you a CD. Now I'll show you a, a physical goddamn game. I'll show, even show you the cartridges. And the fucking books that came with them. See? We go highs, we go lows. We go highs, we go lows. Well, I go highs, I go lows. And you stay here, you don't. And I appreciate it if you do. And if you don't, I, I, you're not going to tell me. Either way, I don't care. The ones who do come for fun, I'll get back to fun. Three, two, one. That means we flip them. Not a bad spell. Not a familiar spell. I'm not used to my wings having a... Uh, Whole, a whole hue to them. Ten more minutes. No, wait. That one, that little last whip smelled kind of good. Again, dry rub. There'll be no sauce for it. That last smell did not smell bad. But, again, I've not finger tested either, either one of these. I have no idea if they taste good or not. This is going to be a first time for everything. 
I've had, I've made lemon pepper wings. Those shits are fucking across the board outstanding. It's lemon fucking pepper chicken. You've had that, or well, maybe you haven't, but if you've gone to Buffalo Wild Wings or Wingstop or you just got lemon pepper chicken wings or you made them yourself. You know, lemon and pepper and chicken are the shit. I just had a line to see if that would do kick it up. Maybe. Fuck it. We're going back to happy. We got through all the bullshit. A tasty beverage. Like I said, I'm off tomorrow by my own uh, volition, by my own choice. I said, fuck it. It's a three day weekend anyway. Give me another day off. And I'm getting my taxes done tomorrow, so that could be another fucking horrible day or a great day. You never know. But the next show and tell. If you're a kid of the 80s, early 90s, excuse me, the Sega Genesis generation, or you're a retro gamer with the uh, emulation shits and whatever, back in the day, in the arcade, there's an arcade down the, well, now it's not there's an arcade in Wichita, Kansas. Again, I'll shout my city out all day and all night, Big Dub KS. There's a arcade in Wichita, Kansas. It's not there anymore. The building is physically there, and the fucking sign is still physically there, but the business, but the arcade's been closed since probably the early 2000s, or before that even, because I was out of the country. But it was called Copper Q. And in Copper Q, they had a game called Splatter House. And it was like a, basically, they took the character of Jason Voorhees, and he has to go save his girlfriend. But he's got the mask, he's got the bulk. You can pick, you can, you know, fist, 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 pick up fucking two by fours and shit and hit. Well, down the road, I don't have the original one, but I got, for Genesis, Sega Genesis, the original Splatterhouse 2 fucking cartridge, and I'll show you. Games used to come in fucking beautiful packaging like this, and it would come with a, an actual instruction book that have, you had two buttons, hit, jump, or whatever the fuck, but the actual cartridge... You would take that, slide it in your damn Genesis. That's Splatterhouse 2. Here's Splatterhouse 3, which for some reason had a thing called MA-13 rating, which I've never seen before or since. I guess that's the precursor to TVMA or whatever the fuck video game ratings that you had to have, again, another fucking book, another fucking stick it in cartridge, Genesis. People sleep on the fucking Genesis. It was a great fucking console. Let me just get that. Sega made great console. And I remember the great uh, fucking Sega fucking uh, ad ad campaigns. Sega does want Nintendo, you know Nintendo, Nintendo, and Sega had this thing called the Blast Processor. I that might have been a real thing. I don't know, but they they say they claimed their games ran faster than Nintendo. And that's where they introduced Sonic the Hedgehog and said this game goes faster than anything Nintendo has. I have no fucking clue. I have money for one system. I got Genesis. And I'm fucking not upset that I did. It was a great, great fucking system. We're down to four minutes. I'm looking forward to fucking testing these with y'all. I'm not going to put sauce on them or anything. It's straight up and straight in. Well, shit. I... <laughs>
ran my CDs, I ran my fucking video games, I ran the book. <coughs> it is kind of giving a little bit of a, either I have the cough from my usual cough or it's giving a little bit of a aromatic. And it doesn't really have a lemon or lime smell to it. I'm trying to give you motherfuckers all the info in case you want to try this. A nice beer. Oh, maybe I'll show you some other shit. I got three minutes. Here's a little something I enjoy. But these are pricey. Well, pricey if you uh, are a working man. They're called Polar Premium Select Marinated Mushrooms. These are fucking just tape. These are these are a, these are a drunk, a drunk snack. These are a definite drunk snack. You get these in the fucking free. If you like mushrooms, you like button mushrooms with a bit of a pickle to them, and you're you've been hitting them, and you're. Go in the fridge and you're like, fuck, I, I don't want to make a whole goddamn dinner. I don't want to make a whole, I don't want to fucking snack on this. I don't want to snack on chips. What the fuck? Ooh. These motherfuckers right here. Get your little fork out. Gobble these motherfuckers up. And you don't got to be a drinker for it. If you like fucking mushrooms, I think this is like $9, though, for this jar. It's a... Uh, 21 ounce. I think it was like nine dollars at Walmart, but I've had these before and they're fucking good And again, I'm giving it a free advertisement for other people's shit And I won't get paid for one minute and 40 fucking five seconds If you're staying there hang on we're gonna I'm gonna fucking pull this shit out I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna give you a god honest to the fucking skies or the devil, whichever one you want to go with, review if these are shit or not. One minute, 20 seconds. If you're drinking, drink up. If you're smoking, toke up. If you're just a regular guy watching, wait. And yes, my taste buds are tainted, but I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get a water and I'll fucking rinse my, and I'll spit in the fucking sink. We'll go in fair. Because I know many of you aren't uh, avid drinkers or whatever it is you do to make it stop. This is what I do to make it stop. I will swirl the water, spit it out. 20 seconds. I'll do it now. I'll do this now then. save this for later. Mouth cleansed. It says cool. It's cooling down right now. I'm going to get a small plate, put them on there, and I'll try them right in front of you. Even though I hate eating in front of you because I think it's gross. This is dry now. so it doesn't accidentally get kicked back on. Because if you don't unplug it and you put the thing back down, it'll still run by itself with nothing inside of it. I 
All right, before I take a bite, I will show you the final product. Oh, we're still angrily fucking bubbling. You can't really see green, ah, green or yellow on here. But you can see they are done. So, I, right now, will go in and try them. Lemon, lime, pepper, fucking wings. Smells good. Goddamn. I'm not throwing away because it's bad. It has some bone in it. That had bone in it. I'm not I'm not saying black. Almost. One more. I don't quite caught. All right. There are definitely hints of both lemon and lime. And it's not bad. Huh. It is not bad for a first run. It can be tweaked. You have lemon notes, lime notes. I think it would be better if you took lemon and lime uh, peppers and put them into a universal uh, container, shook them the hell up, and maybe add some of that jalapeno salt or, or some maybe some crushed red pepper. 
or whatever flavor you like. It's not bad. It's not bad. It needs to be tweaked. I will eat the real. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, excuse me. I'm enjoying the flavor. It's just like one bite will be uh, lemon with a little bit of lime. One bite lime with a little bit of lemon. I think if they were mixed better and more thoroughly and probably with some of that jalapeno salt or some of those crushed red peppers and maybe some uh, a garlic or an onion, you could kick that shit right up. As it stands, not bad. I wouldn't go to it my first choice, but it's not bad. I'm, I'm going to eat the rest of these. It's not bad, but it's not great. I told you motherfuckers by fucking, uh, I'll tell you the truth. I thought it might be better and more like a 7 up eat flavor. Uh, it's, it's more of how much seasoning hit this spot and hit this spot. It's either a very lemony flavor with a hint of lime or a very lime flavor with a hint of lemon. If they were shook up and shit, I think it would be, it would be much better, much more consistent. There you go. I'm not a food crew. I'm not a. I'm not a professional chef or a professional food critic. I'm a guy who does shit in the kitchen, and I experimented. Well, I'm gonna say the experiment is a success because it doesn't fucking taste like shit. It doesn't suck, but it doesn't, to me, meet what it could be. It could be tweaked to a point where it's absolutely outstanding. This is good. This is a beer drinker's wing. It's like, oh, I'll try that. <laughs> that, in that case, yes, success. In the case of would I give this to uh, friends and family and say, enjoy? Uh, no. This is a personal, for me, yummy yum. But I wouldn't... Uh, because they might not have the same enthusiasm I would have. Like you folks at home, don't do this until you uh, experiment. Till I'm giving you the ground layer. Experiment and go wild. I'm saying you mix these two better. Maybe some garlic, maybe some onion, maybe some uh, crushed chili pepper. They aren't bad now, but they aren't as good as they can be. See what I'm saying? Unlike your Ramses and your Fieris and all that shit who tell you everything that everything they do is the fucking witch's nipples. I'm not. I'll tell you the fucking truth. They're good, but they're not where they should be. They can be better, but I'm going to still eat these motherfuckers because they're tasty. But they can be tastier. See what I'm saying? And with that, I'll oh, fucking eat one in front of you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like them, but I don't. I like. I like them, but I could like them more. That one has more of an actual consistent mix. That one's very tasty. The first three flares of tasty. This one, a consistent tasty. But I still say, that was good, goddamn. I still say, get a half and half mix of the lemon, of the lemon and the lime peppers into a shaker. And do it that way. This one must have got coated super heavy with both. Because that one was good. Didn't have that lemon lime 7 7 up flavor, but they had a 
You can taste both. I'm going to finish this one. You folks, thanks for stopping by. If you stayed the entire time, yay for you. Uh, I might try to get something else out this weekend. It may or may not happen. For the diehards, which are like all three of you. As always, and with respect, and with love, and I'm going to finish this wing and drink some more beers and probably pass out in my recliner. It's my weekend. Peace, bitches.